Flow Immersive, and we're going to take a look at a data set with 10,000 cities and have ChatGPT go ahead and organize these cities for us in a variety of ways. So, for example, pick a visualization. So we'll just have ChatGPT decide on what it thinks will be the most appropriate visualization for this data set and see what it thinks. And look at that, it decided to put it on a globe. That's a pretty good guess. Um, in addition, we can actually ask ChatGPT about any of these places. So for example, I can say, tell me about the economy here. And it can go ahead and use the context of Palakag to find out more about this city in the Philippines. And it tells me the economy of Talagag is largely based on agriculture, processed with rice, corn, and sugar cane. Map this onto a world lollipop chart. All kinds of different templates in Flow to visualize the data. And so ChatGPT is taking our direction to decide how to lay these out in a variety of interesting ways. And there we go, there's the flat map, and you can see that the largest cities stick out as little lollipops from the map. Visualize this as a Fibonacci cluster. We might want to organize the data on a single axis, in this case based on region, and what it has done is it's categorized all of the cities for these different regions and created these nice Fibonacci mathematical clusters. Show me this on a violin chart. I'm going to animate this into a violin chart. A violin chart is based, in this case, on the latitude. So we can see within each region where the cities fall on that latitude. And we can see that Europe is you know, higher latitudes and Australia, New Zealand, Latin America are the lower latitudes. Show me this data in a 3D scatter plot without lines. It's going to animate all of the data points into a uh, 3D scatter plot. And in this case, it has decided to lay out the um, cities with the latitude on the width axis, the height is the longitude, and each country is the depth. So we get this 3D distribution of each country in space. We can isolate the countries using the legend here. So we can see just the European countries or just the African countries. So let's just summarize what we've done here. We've asked ChatGPT to visualize this data, to map it onto a variety of templates based on what's available in Flow, and we have been able to drill into some of those cities to get further context from ChatGPT's general knowledge. And we've done all of this in augmented reality.